What's going on guys, Pro Play Apathy back in the building with another video today. I am very excited to be doing Mind of Apathy Episode 4. And guess what? It's been a while since I've done one of these. Psych! It's been a couple of days, maybe four or five days. But today it's going to be some gameplay versus C9. And we're on Hardpoint Stronghold. If Before I start this video and continue this video, I apologize. But I just want to say one thing. If you guys don't, if you guys are new to the series, basically what I do is give pro tips and strategy as the game goes on. And kind of tell you what's going on through my mind as I do certain plays. And on top of that, I'm trying to do every map in game type. So it's never going to be like repetitive, like re the same map. It's never going to repeat. But either way, guys, let's start the gameplay. So right here, we spawn mansion. You want to control this mansion, especially subs. The way it should work, the subs should almost never, never go through that square right there. That whatever you guys call it, Z. Uh, the subs should always be going through mansion. You see John on the mini map is pushing out rocks. I immediately went mansion. And I used to do this mistake a lot, but that is a must, guys. Please, if you're a sub, you can do this sometimes. Cut mansion to hill, but never go square. Never go heady, which is in front of me. Those are AR positions. And you're going to fuck up your ARs if the subs are getting in mansion and shooting them all, like out of those positions. So right here, my teammates do a good job to grab the hill. I spawn our rocks. Gonna rotate, but I'm not gonna rotate straight into the hill. I already have someone in hill. We need the top mansion control. That's what's very important. Fortunately, I get taken out. We all spawn out. Now, the reason I chose this gameplay is because I have a really good game. So I thought, you know, why not show you guys this? I'm hitting top mansion. 40 seconds left. We still want to get secure. Kind of despawn. Secure this hill pretty well. Top mansion is crucial on this hill. Top mansion is pretty much key when it comes to winning this hill. Two of them come down, try to run away, line it up, get the three-piece. No guy's probably going to drop on me. And then right here, we probably know they spawn bunker. Now, if they rotate or hit the hill, it depends on them. But actually, one ends up hitting the hill. One from middle and one from bunker. Now, here we're going to spawn rocks. There's 15 seconds left. My intentions are not necessarily to hit the hill. I'm just going to try to hold rocks here. But as soon as my teammates all die, two of us actually spawned good. But they ended up dying, which is bad. If you ever get good spawns like that, you have to play for your life. So right here, I died, unfortunately, but I spawned Bunker. My teammates are slowly pushing left, or it's actually one guy, which I believe is Slasher. I EP Hill guy, I immediately try to challenge him. I know I have sort of an advantage. Slasher picks up one guy EMP. I run and try to kill the other guy in Hill. Couldn't kill him in time. And then right here, I spawned out. I, if, if I were to spawn in Bunker, then the smart play would be is obviously to push out Bunker. But since I spawned like square kind of area, like Z, I'm going to rotate all the way around and play for spawns. Try not to do, like, n try, especially as a sub, never flood in straight, like, through middle. That's dumb. You're, you're, they're still going to spawn there. You know, it's hard to, like, you can do it once in a while. It really depends on the situation. But as a sub, you want to hit the, 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 the side lanes. That's the best way to describe it. Please don't rush through the middle, middle, like a headless creature who does not know how to, how to speak or write or talk. So right here, we want to get the satellite spawn. We do a good job. Us three rotate. We understand how important it is. Happy gets a two-piece. I take him out. One guy top satellite. I'm trying to get this kill. It's a very big kill. There's two of them. A slash helps me with that kill. I still call out guy bottom mansion, bottom mansion, bottom mansion. Right here, I'm just trying to stay alive. Uh, someone whoever rotated to the back is doing a good job because I believe he picks up this kill. Boom. Now they're all out of satellite. That's exactly what we want. As you can see, we're still even down by 50, but uh, myself, I'm playing it pretty well. I know there's probably going to spawn bunker just because how far my teammates are pushed up in the minimap. One guy's already pushed up mansion, so that can cause a split spawn, which you saw on my screen, two spawn bunker, and he's still pushed up mansion, so I'm here like, all right, they're probably still at least a couple going to spawn bunker. That was probably the last guy, but nope, I was wrong. I knew I heard something. Happy takes me out. 25 seconds left. Now, on this hill to rotate to next hill, Guys, the best way in the spawns you kind of want, because it's usually closer to the hill, is the mansion side. Mansion side, and it's, it's it's more favorable because it's easy to kind of contest. You can kind of slide in, and then the only way they can kill you, they have to be, like, out in the open. And you can, like, contest this. So that's why that's a little bit more favorable. Right here, we're just making sure no one's in the back, making sure no one's playing their life, because usually someone holds this. But instead, they're going to be playing inside the hill. I check my corners. You always want to check your corners when coming to this hill. Because they are, I do that a lot. Every player does that. You know, it's a really good position. My teammates get one. I bait immediately with my kinetic. Slasher gets the other three. Great job. Now, here, it's my duty to hold pinch. If you spawn out, I mean, like, you're, if three people are in hill, you do not rush in hill. You hold the pinch. And this is a pretty good position because I can drop down as soon as someone's shooting me from square. Therefore, like, I can kind of play my life more. And I can see, I can see pretty much the whole pinch. So right here, I'm just staying alive. You know, as soon as one teammate dies, I flood in. That's that's my go. And then he spawns, whoever spawns behind me, which I believe who died first, Slasher. Slasher picks up pinch now. 
and that's it's just a pure rotation it goes on and on unless we know there's four there or it's like 15 seconds left and you can all flood in technically but usually that's how you want to hold this hill now rotating to first hill again we're trying to obtain that mansion control top mansion very very crucial especially the sub havoc is just doing that havoc is being a nuisance top mansion but it's our duty our job to take him out of there so you can't blame him for doing a good job of that and we're over here looking for him i decided to go to the hill try to get this guy i realize there's probably one here get him havoc still up top so i'm trying to search for him i was trying to get him i do end up getting havoc and now boom we have good control of the hill, and we have top mansion. They're probably going to spawn rocks here. You know, just based on my minimap, one spawns rock. I get him. Uh, John gets one. I get the other one rocks. Call him out mid-alley. Cap gets him. Now, right here, we, we they're probably going to get split spawn bunker. So, I turn around. I shoot melee him, which is a great technique, by the way, guys. I don't know if you guys know about that. I've made, like, two videos about it already. It's so underrated. You shoot melee, it, like, instantly. It's like a one beat down kill, and it's very good for close range. But you guys can see it's 20 seconds left. I'm a sub player. My duty is not to hit that last 15 seconds. That's trash time. i rather hold top mansion, which is such a crucial position coming into the next hill. And it's a smart play to do. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I decided to hug the corner, play my life. It's only two of us. So I'm trying to get in a position where it's hard for them to kill me. Now, on 50 points from streaks, I could have possibly killed him. But he had kinetic and he was running all over the place. So I didn't want to risk dying to him. So I let, said I let him go. And I'm just here trying to obtain these streaks. I'm just trying to stay alive. I managed to get my health from lightning, which was pretty big. I'm trying to work the Serbi, but I believe I get taken out. So, I got a little, I want to say kill whore, but my main goal was to get streaks. I There was a huge chance I wasn't going to kill Havoc just due to him having kinetic. So, I played it slower, tried to get the streaks, and I got the health from lightning, which should help later on in the game. Now, 30 seconds left. I'm trying to help the hill. I pick up a kill. Try to stay alive top mansion. I know my teammates are coming to the hill. Just sitting in the corner, staying alive. This is exactly what you want to do as a sub player. And the AR players, I mean, the sub is so crucial when coming, like, holding top mansion or, like, holding mansion in general. So, right here, I think uh, they blow up his hellstorm or somebody to kill him. J-Cap's in the back. I'm like, all right, Cap, I'm going to come help you in the back. Unfortunately, Happy cuts out mid-alley. But you guys can see, like, we're grinding out these, these uh, hills. You know, we're playing it pretty well. And now we're up by 30 or about to be 30. Right here, lighting the hill so we can push out a bunker. My teammates push out. Uh, whoever pushed out the back did a good job because I spawned here. I hit some nice shots to get a uh, llama. I know it's a guy back here. I fortunately I could take him out. I saw had an AR, but right here I spawned square. Now in this position, my teammates lighting the hill, so it's not that bad of a play if I push down middle because I will have an opening and my teammates are already pushing the side. But you guys saw I died regardless. It's just it's not that smart to push that. You have to have really good timing and a really good position. Here, I have to Hellstorm the hill because it's the only way we're going to push through. Hellstorm ends up being a very, does this job very well because now we break the hill and I'm pretty sure now we have, we're like a good position to fight for these back spawns because satellite, rotating to satellite hill, you want those back left spawns. You want to spawn satellite. Right where I spawn, you want to spawn here. So right here, I'm just going to peek real quick, try to get a kill or two, just trying to stay alive. As soon as I see my teammates, you know, there's no one here. I'm going to head glitch this outskirts rock. This is actually a really good position. I did get gunned. Uh, you know, Llama's just a joke. Wait, what? No, I'm kidding. But I did get gun, and it's just a really good position, though. I pick up a nice name with a two-piece. Almost kill him, but I think Slash takes him out. I spawn satellite again, and we have spawns again. And this is where you want to spawn at all times. If you don't want to, you don't want to spawn where they're spawning, which is mansion and middle. That is a terrible spawn. It's so much easier to hold the hill from satellite. Right here, just 30 seconds left, and my teammates are all pretty much flooding the hill. I decide to make sure no one's pinching or no one's cutting. I'm gonna cut through the middle pinch it a little to give a little pinch to it almost kill assault so close but he ends up taking me out now right here 21 seconds left usually what you want to do is have one guy flood a bunker which is or one guy flood like heady side and three go mansion but since we spawn right here there's no point for all of us to go around mansion it's the best road to it is a more like favorable thing but if we get like control like this there's no point of us rotating because we knew we were going to beat them there since there was like two or three on the old hill Jcap dies there. You guys can see I am using the corner that I've been talking about earlier. And here, all my job is to get at least one or two kills if I can. I just try to boost up, try to eat the nade a little bit. They slide in. I had the heat wave guy one shot. Fortunately, he heat waved me, which I fucking hate heat wave. But it's all good. Right here, I spawn mansion. Now, usually on this hill, pinching is really good. Having one or two pinch is good. And th like I said, this is the more favorable position. So. I decided to come help J-Cap. J-Cap gets one. I almost killed a scythe. The call outside's weak. 
I think Assault goes off with the No, okay. Slasher takes him out. I spawn Heady. And boom. We're in a good position. The pinch worked out really well. Oh, uh, J-Cap and I, we all just did our job here. I pushed out with Kinetic. And they can't really do much. Just uh, making sure we get this time. They didn't want them to have any contest whatsoever. Right here, EMP check square. And back I go into Mansion. As you guys can, you can see, I'm having a really good game. Assault's up here. I call it to my teammate. Just trying to stay alive. Obviously, it would be dumb if I challenged that. He has an AR holding a, a pretty long lane. JCap, you know, I call out to JCap. We have some little teamwork going on. He takes him out. I try to get this guy in the hill, and Happy just implodes me. Wow. Wow. I would say let's hit the replay, but I'll slow down the video. But Jesus. Right here, this is the only time I decided to hit square. Hitting square, like I said, as a sub, you want you like almost to never want to do it. Usually what you want to do is what I did right here. The subs should always either pinch from pinch rocks or hold mansion. That should be the only place the sub should be doing. So right there, I did go to square because it was a pretty good timing. And you guys saw it paid off. I got the one kid in hill and my teammates regained control. And immediately, I went to push rocks. It's not like I stayed there in the hill. Right here, Havoc gets top mansion again. We all spawn out. And this video is going to cut a little bit short because, I don't know, theaters glitched or whatnot. But right here, just to make sure my teammate gets the hill. I get the two-piece. We're only three points away from winning. And I come down middle. Try to just EMP check. Right here, I'm going to pinch middle. All my three teammates are in mansion. I get one. I get two. I get the last guy. And we win the map. Sorry for the video cut short late. I go 46 and 32. Crazy gameplay for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, boys, I'm out. Peace.